Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because we're going to be talking about coffee and coffee is one of my favorite things in the entire world. So in this video I wanted to give you guys a quick review of my Keurig Key Coffee machine that I purchased recently, uh, upgraded from the old traditional coffee maker, you see it right here in the corner, the Cousinart, but we finally upgraded to the single serve coffee maker. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of this machine. We also are gonna be making three simple recipe that came with the book, and I also have surprise for you guys. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'll be sharing one of my favorite Starbucks drink, caramel macchiato recipe that I recreate at home using this awesome coffee maker. So make sure you stick to the end of this video and uh, I didn't have any coffee yet so I'm super excited to get this video started and make some coffee. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay guys, so this is the machine. As you can see, it's very compact and attractive. Super beautiful and it brews a great cup of coffee very quickly but if you prefer any cappuccino or latte it has that option too and it does a great job so let me show you it has this water bin or water reservoir and it's pretty decent size pretty large if you drink like one cup of coffee and maybe not every day like four days a week or something you only need to fill this one once a week it has multiple size portions so you can choose which one you like 6, 8, 10 or 12 and I love the latte and cappuccino options especially the fact that you can make them hot or cold this is the built-in frother it's a dishwasher safe and it's super easy to clean and actually works pretty very well inside you have this uh, magnetic Spinner. This does all the work actually and it's magnetic. Just be careful, don't lose it. It's dishwasher safe but make sure you put it somewhere where it can't fall or something like that. And it goes over here in the middle. And on the side here you can see you have your cappuccino line and the latte line. And this milk frother goes inside over here and always make sure you put the lid on. The lid it's pretty important to actually put on the machine otherwise you're not gonna get any good uh, frost. And you can use milk, skim milk, uh, coconut milk, almond milk, any milk you like. Even you can use like half and half. I saw some people using it with half and half and it does a great job as well. When you first buy the machine and you plug it in, you have this light over here, auto off, and that means the machine will turn off after two hours from the last time you use it. So it's pretty convenient it's, if you ever forget to turn the machine off, you, you, you know it will turn off by itself after two hours. But if you want to turn that future off, turn the machine off and then press and hold on the strong and 10 ounces for three seconds now the light is off and if you turn it back on the light is off so the auto off it's off but i want it back on you turn the machine off and again press and hold on the strong and 10 ounces for three seconds the light flashed on so turn it on the auto off is on right now one thing you should know when you first buy the machine when it's brand new and you plug it in you really have to run it with just water to actually just rinse the, uh, rinse the machine and clean it up so first thing you want to do is to clean this pen just rinse it out with water use soap if you want and just uh, rinse it very well then fill it up with water it has a max line you'll see it and then place it back on it has a little handle over here it's pretty handy but it's kind of plastic, so really, you know, be careful, support it with your hand if you need it to. Over here, you can see your max line. So after you fill it up to the max line, you can go ahead and place it back on the machine. Just like that. And after that, you want to rinse it, like I said, with just water. So select 8 ounces. I have to actually start again. Whenever you want to start it again, you can just open and close. You can see the coffee is lighting up right now and the latte and cappuccino is lighting up. So select coffee for example and 8 ounces. You only need like 8 ounces. 
and breast decay. Now just go ahead and dump that and let's make some actual coffee. For the first recipe we're sharing with you guys today, we're going to make just a regular black cup of coffee. But I do want to mention that you have this adapter you can purchase from Target, from Keurig uh, website, anywhere. And it costs about $15, but it allows you to use your own regular coffee. This one, like I have here probably Dunkin Donuts, I think. But you can just uh, twist it. This one will come off and this one I want to show you. If you can see you have two lines over here. You have a regular coffee mug and then you have the travel mug. You see this upline over here? So if you're making a regular cup of coffee, you can just put it up to this line, the bottom one. And this will take about, let me show you, two and a half a spoon using this one. But if you're making any specialty drink, like if you're making, for example, caramel macchiato or a latte uh, or a pumpkin spice latte, just always go and use the travel size mug because you get a very strong flavor, especially you can mix it with the milk and the cream and all that. Now, if you want to use your own key cup, you can simply just open the machine and place your teacup in and just to close it but if you're like me you want to use your own coffee and use the adapter first you have to remove this piece over here by simply just pressing very gentle on it has a three tabs two in front and one in the back so you can simply press on it and just uh, remove it like so so this one only for the teacups We need a little bit more. So, like you see, I filled it up to the coffee mug. So you can simply just put it back here and twist it. Like that. And go ahead and it goes this way. Like that. Close it. Put your coffee mug then go ahead and select you can see over here a coffee flashing and the latte and cappuccino flashing so like i said i'm just making a regular cup of coffee so i go ahead and press the coffee and just follow the light usually do 12 ounces so i select the 12 ounces press on the k and it will start brewing Alright guys, so it's done. As you can see, this is the 12 ounce coffee. So I'm just gonna move it away right now and start on making cappuccino. You can just simply remove the adapter and let me just open it for you guys so you can see. Here's the used coffee. I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, dump it out and rinse it very quickly. Now, to start uh, the cappuccino, first you want to go ahead and move your frother, take the lid off, and I'm using today just the regular skim milk, and like I said, when you start boring the milk and you can see the light better because it, the milk just help uh, brighten it up, so I'm going to fill it up to the cappuccino line. You have these buttons over here for cold latte or cappuccino but right now I really want just a regular hot cappuccino so I'm not going to press cold, I'm just going to press uh, cappuccino I usually move right away to the coffee side so I can start my cappuccino coffee and pretty much they get done about the same time. So just to do that, just go ahead and open your coffee maker. But I'm using today Donut Chop Dark. Close it. Place your mug. Press the, the latte or cappuccino button. 
and it already knows what you want and select it for you but as you can see it's strong is lighting up and shots lighting up so just go ahead and press the K I usually like to use a spoon just to hold the froth at the back a little bit so we can get the milk first. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, look how much froth we got. And this using a skim milk too. Now let's make a latte. So to make the latte, I'm starting again with my milk. Go ahead and add your milk to the latte line. Now for the latte, I really want to use this very pretty glass, but as you can see, it's very big, it won't fit here. So that's very cool because you can remove this uh, coffee tray, put it to the side, and you can see you can fit your coffee mug, travel mug, or just, you know, pretty glass like that very perfectly. So I'm going to show you guys, so usually I really like to start them about the same time because they get done about the same exact time. So for the, I'm going to start my froth first, press the latte and I'm going to press my latte or cappuccino here and like I said, just go ahead and press your K. Once it's done, you can remove your cup, you can see it's just not much coffee, it's just a shot and you see beautiful froth. Look how beautiful that is. It's very hot and oh yeah. It's very hot. I'm going to hold it from here and you can see how much froth we got. Okay guys, so right now we're going to make the ice latte and as you can see the only difference I have here some ice in my glass and go ahead and start with your froth, get the milk to the latte mark. Go ahead and press the cold and latte. And then, like I said, I start them very much at the same time because we get done at very much the same time. I'm using again the espresso shot, the espresso rose. Close your lid, press the latte, cappuccino button, and like you see, already strong and shot selected. Go ahead and press your K. Once it's ready, just remove, it's cold actually. Once it's ready, just remove your glass, get your froth, even on cold. You see how much froth we got? Okay guys, so last but not least, it's my favorite Starbucks drink that I recreate at home. And as you can see, I actually just got ready everything I need for this uh, recipe. I'm using vanilla sweetened milk, almond milk, and I'm using the donut shop dark roast. You need some caramel, 
sauce and also you need vanilla syrup I got this one from Walmart so first thing you want to start adding your ice to your glass and next the recipe called for two tablespoons of vanilla syrup but today I'm only using one because I'm using vanilla almond milk so I tried it this way and I think I really like it so go ahead and add one tablespoon of vanilla syrup straight on your eyes I'm gonna start my uh, frost first actually so move the lid again fill it up to the latte mark right there and you'll see even the almond milk frosts very very nicely place the lid back on and go ahead and press cold and latte froth is ready now you see this time we're starting with the frost first not the coffee go ahead and pour that right in i know it looks like it's very full and it's not gonna fit anymore but you'll see place your glass in the coffee mug section I'm gonna open, put your uh, coffee bag, close it, select latte or cappuccino, then press K. Alright guys, so I think it's done. You see how beautiful that is? You have the layer here, the milk with the eyes, the coffee, and your froth. Now, I like to take a tablespoon like this. It, coffee macchiato means coffee mark. So you take your spoon, you see already you have your coffee mark over here. So take a tablespoon like that. I like to take it to the bottom and just turn it very slowly turn it you don't you don't want to you know mess up your froth sometimes you have to go up and down very slowly very gentle how beautiful that is now slowly gentle take it out and um, my favorite absolutely favorite part Take your caramel sauce and go ahead and have some fun. And how beautiful is that? Alright guys, so as you guys saw, this is a very good handy piece for coffee lovers. I mean, I used to love my traditional coffee makers with the pot and uh, big pot, you know, make it in the morning and just sip on it all day. But switching to the single serve coffee, it really helped me drink less coffee and make a wide variety of drinks, hot and cold. And the hot foamy milk is just at that level of a perfection. That's all for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!